I wasn't sure how to connect to the app at first. When you only type in the IP address, then this will not work. I was a bit confused about that, but you simply need to type in H. By the way, if you want to see all my videos about the Tango tab, then type in Chris Viral Tango tab in the YouTube search, press enter and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a low cost tablet for smart home stuff. In my case, I will use this for home assistance, so let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. This will be my last video about the Tango Tab, a super low budget two-in-one laptop tablet combination, solid build. Actually, check out this video right here, my review after one week. I will talk about this in more detail about my experiences. In this one, I just want to use this to actually control my smart home appliances in my flat so let's get right to it. This is the Tango Tab by Simbans. And now I will show you two methods how you can access Home Assistant. First of all, Google Chrome. What you need to do is simply type in the address of your server and then type in the port of your Home Assistant application. Hit enter. Of course, you need to be connected to the home network. And this is how to access the Home Assistant application on Chrome. But ideally, you would, of course, download the app. And I wasn't sure how to connect to the app at first. So actually, I will just uninstall the whole app and do it from scratch. Home Assistant, let's install this app. There we go. Let's open it up and you will be greeted with the select the instance you would like to connect to. So I'm going to enter this by myself. But note when you only type in the IP address, then this will not work. I was a bit confused about that, but you simply need to type in HTTP and press OK again and then it will work. As you can see, never mind, forgot the port. OK, that's weird. I've closed the app. Let's reopen it. Enter the address manually again, HTTP like this. Okay, it's looking better. And now with the port. There we go. Username. And there we go. So this is how to set it up on the tablet itself. Ideally with the app, that's of course the way to go. The cool thing about this one is that it has a dedicated charging port. So I could wall mount this, but probably I will just put it somewhere just like that, hook it up to a charger all the time. An idea would be a little stand on the wall and I can just unhook it and use it as a tablet, as a laptop. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, this is it right here. My little tablet for Home Assistant. As you can see, as of now, there isn't much going on, but there will be for sure future Home Assistant videos. I plan on building DIY Wemo switches, connect everything with the Alexa, all of that good stuff. Alexa, stop. She who should not be named. <laughs> so yeah, that was just a shorty. Just wanted to show you a very cheap, affordable tablet for Home Assistant. The Tango Tab by Simbans. This ad is not paid for, but I think this is a great device. So as you saw, it's easily possible. Everything worked out as expected. I plan on just leaving this in my flat as a dedicated home assistant tablet. So great, so glad to have this. Again, I got this through my collab with Tech Magnet. And if you want to see my full-fledged review on their channel, then check it out right here. And yeah, this concludes my last video about the Tango tab. There might be a long-term review after six months or something like that in the, well, somewhat near future. But yeah, that's it for this one. Smash that like button. The way this thing smashed my sad heart because now it's happy. <laughs> to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and that is it for today. I will see you tomorrow.